a lot of people bash on people like, oh, you should be frugal. Why are you buying expensive stuff? And other people. Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. Today's video is going to be I'm not a real minimalist. I love stuff. Addressing five minimalism myths. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it. Let's go. Woo. Before we get started, as usual, if you want to help support my channel, consider checking out my Patreon, and if not, then just give this video a thumbs up and a like, and let's get right into the video. Number one, it's not about the number of stuff that you have. A lot of people kind of get hung up on the idea that minimalism is about owning as little as possible or just living out of a suitcase or whatever amount of like small condensed amount of things that you see on the internet, but that's not really the case. Like the most extreme minimalist I can think of is probably like Fumio, and he's pretty like practical in the things that he talks about he was saying that like you ought to have jackets for different seasons like and this is coming from a pretty like hardcore minimalist so minimalism is not really about owning as little as possible but it's about being intentional with what you own and making sure the things that you have do serve you and are bringing you joy like that that's how you should be using your minimalism to be fair everyone's minimalism is different i'm not here knocking anybody who that is their minimalism to be as stoic as possible and own as little as they can but that is just a myth that should be addressed that minimalism is not about owning as little as possible a lot of minimalists do own a fair amount of things it's just gonna look different for everybody all right number two having expensive stuff this was one that I kind of struggled with personally, but I have seen as a reoccurring theme in the minimalism community. A lot of people bash on people like, oh, you should be frugal, why are you buying expensive stuff? And other people excuse certain behaviors by saying, I don't own a lot, so I should own the best. And it, of course, is just a game of balance and figuring out where you stand with all of this. You can own expensive things and it's fine and you can be a minimalist. I remember one time I was reading in the subreddit, somebody said that they their BMW was holding them back from being a minimalist. I was like, is that a thing? Like, when when did owning a BMW mean you couldn't be a minimalist? Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like, knocking this person or laughing at this person because, like, I, too, have done dumb things like that. I remember when I thought my Michael Kors tote bag was holding me back from being a minimalist. Nothing and nobody is holding you back from being a minimalist except you. If you consider yourself a minimalist, you are a minimalist, regardless of how expensive or how cheap your items are. Number three, having brand name. I find that a lot of minimalists like to harp on this. A lot of minimalists come for brand names and I have mentioned brand names in the past myself. I have gone from in my minimalism journey still enjoying brand names and feeling like justified in them because I'm intentional about it to kind of like letting them go and like decluttering but that was like the later stages of my minimalism but I think it's really interesting that people knock on brand names I think brand names should be a personal choice and should not be something related to minimalism I understand that like the idea of decluttering and letting go of brand and its representations and its like value is part of I guess decluttering and minimizing one's life but I really do think that it's okay to like brand name stuff like those two things are not exclusive I think a lot of minimalists have preferences for certain brands like a lot of minimalists like apple and like apple products does that mean that they're not minimalist because they like a certain brand so what i'm just trying to say is like if you feel that a certain like if you feel drawn to a certain brand or you feel drawn to brands don't feel bad that doesn't mean that you can't be a minimalist like that you have to wear like no logoed stuff like that's that's just another myth Number four, no need to be sustainable. A lot of people find that there's a lot of overlap in minimalism and sustainability, and I think that that's wonderful. I think that that's a very beautiful marriage and it's going in the right direction, but it's important to understand that those two words are different. They do mean different things. Being sustainable is more of an environmental practice versus minimalism is more kind of like a lifestyle or a certain aesthetic or I guess a philosophy. So you shouldn't have to feel bad if some of the practices that you do are not necessarily sustainable. Some things about minimalism maybe you own less so you tend to use more of something may not be necessarily sustainable don't beat yourself up about it like i'll be real and i'll be honest i don't sit here and tell anybody that i'm the most sustainable person in the world like i'm like i've tried uh, I bought a diva cup and I had an awful experience with it, but I tried <laughs> and yeah, just you just kind of have to like figure out what works for you and understand that like, yeah, it's okay if you're not sustainable, you know, like that doesn't mean that you can't be a minimalist. Those two things are not the same, but if you can do both, that's great. Right. And number five, there's no need to be cheap or frugal. I think again, there is a lot of overlap between minimalism and being cheap or being frugal, but those two things are not synonymous. I know there's a lot of rich minimalists out there and then there's also a lot of poor people who have a lot and who own a little like like those two things don't have to be one and the same so if you feel that you know what like 
you're bougie and you want to be a minimalist and you want to have good stuff yeah you don't need to be frugal to also be a minimalist but i have found that like certain aspects of minimalism tend to lead people down a certain road where they have like mental declutters and they realize that like you don't need to be buying the most expensive thing to be fulfilled in one's life so then because of that thought process you end up becoming frugal or unintentionally because you feel like hey you know what middle road type of products work just as well as the most expensive products i might as well just pay for that like why not so it's just kind of like more of like a byproduct than necessarily like okay you become a minimalist time to start budgeting and like no those two things don't have to come together you can be very spendy and still be a minimalist i had that problem when i think like in my third year of minimalism because i restricted for so long i just went crazy on these like awful like shopping binges oh my gosh i'm not perfect and and like I can sit here and, and you know and try to be humble and tell you guys you know like this stuff happens to everybody it's not just I go through these struggles too so yeah don't feel bad if you if you are not all of these things together you know if you're not sustainable fruit girl brand name blah blah blah, blah, blah. these are not minimalism standards that you need to aspire to they're not minimalism standards I aspire to so don't feel the need to, to be there yourself Okay, so we have reached the end of the video. It's a really short mini video and I hope that this helps out anybody who is on their minimalism journey and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!